we've just seen a huge update as far as the witnessing and now it says witnessed so what does this mean how does this affect your earnings so we're going to dive deeper into the whole structure of all this how it's calculated and why this change is happening and for our viewers my name is Gabriel Chaparro I have the great privilege of making videos for Rockland so welcome to the channel and you can expect a lot of more content just like this down the road as of January 2022 witnessed lists in the both app and the Explorer app uh, reflect the list of hotspots that your hotspot has seen beacon. Now this is an improved change from displaying a list of hotspots that has witnessed your hotspot as a new list directly correlating with mining rewards. So what they're saying here is that back then the witnesses was uh, just a representation of all the witnesses that you see on your hotspot, right? I mean, pretty straightforward. But now what they're saying is that these witnesses are probably fewer now, but they're much more correlated with you actually earning and, and achieving these mining rewards. So it has a lot more value. It's just, they're trying to narrow down why you're earning and how you're providing coverage versus just everything you physically see, even though you're not earning any, anything off of that witness. And so they go on explaining us how that list is constructed. The list you find in explore.helium.com uh, and the Explorer app are historical cumulative set of hotspots that your hotspot has seen beacon. Now this list is uh, based off of a five day previous day of proved coverage receipt. So uh, basically it's a five day rollover list. And I'll explain here with this diagram here. So on the first 13 witnesses, on the second 14 witnesses, on the third five witnesses, so on and so forth, right? The next day is now January 6th. And as you notice, the January 1st slot has been taken off and then the uh, January 6th slot has been added on. So now the numbers are still the same for each day, right? The four, I'm sorry, the second still has four witnesses, the third still has five witnesses, so on and so forth, and then the new slot has eight. So total for the five day week period we have, uh, or the five day rollover period, you have 37 witnesses collectively, accumulatively. And so that's how they're calculating when you log into your app, or when you log into the Explorer app, and you just click on a random uh, a random hotspot, it'll show you here that it says total witnessed six, right? So that is six in that five day period. Now this is what we're talking about, the transmit scale and the witness list, right? They're very deeply correlated now. Typically the more hotspots in your witnessed list, the more likely you'll have higher mining rewards. This is heavily influenced by the transmit scale of the hotspots you witness. Now I wish they would have highlighted this here in bold because this is actually a golden nugget dropped to you. And if you're witnessing a hotspot that has a much higher transit scale, your earnings are gonna be way higher than if you're uh, witnessing, for example, something that has a low transit scale. Now, if we just go off topic here and go off to this uh, layers tab and click on the transmit scales, this is something kind of new that just added in. Um, you can see the transmit scales, right? And if we just click on one of them where it's red, this is the transmit scale that we're talking about, the 0 0.19, 0 0.19, uh, 0.29, right? Those are lower end transit scales. So if you start witnessing a bunch of these red uh, layered hotspots, so to speak, right? A bunch of these lower transit scale hotspots, your, your earnings are gonna reflect on that. Conversely, if you w start witnessing uh, a ton of these, for example, one, right? Let's just say you have a the transit scale of one, right? All of these are gonna be one, maybe 0 0.9, 0 0.8, higher end transit scales. You're gonna start to see uh, much higher rewards per witness, right? I'm not saying you're still making much more. It all depends on the amount of witnesses and correlating with the transit scale. So you can't just rule out one or the other. You gotta work with both. Now going back to this document here, it, it further explains that topic we're talking about over the last five days, this hotspot has witnessed beacons from 51 hotspots with an average transit scale of 0.6. So that's what we're talking about here. Uh, if you're witnessing the transit scales of 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, they're gonna be much lower. Now finishing up here, they talk about the relayed status, which is super important, uh, whether you're relayed or not, if your neighbors are around you. It can also damage you as well. So this is why it's important to understand this and maybe you want to come into contact with the hotspots around you. You can use an app called Hotspotty, one of my favorite tools to use. And this is why you might wanna do so. Relayed hotspots do not just affect the hotspot owner, but can affect its neighbors and the network. Uh, relayed hotspots as a challenger. So when a hotspot that is relayed issues a challenge, the receipt or acknowledgement of the challenge by the challengee and the witnessing hotspots may not arrive to be accepted. Why? Because the receipt has to transverse various other hotspot connections in order to arrive at the relay challenger, right? So this is being the uh, relay challenger right here. Now diving into this graphic, you have the challenger, the beaconer, and these hotspots are witnessing. So these hotspots are sending the, hey, I'm witnessing to the challenger and the challenger is verifying that, yes, they did witness 
that from the beaconer. And they're saying that this process can be slowed down if you or your, the people around you are relayed. So that means if it's slowed down, you might not even get the reward at all. So you're going to miss out on some gains. So this is why it's super important to make sure that you and the others around you are not relayed. Therefore, the entire pathway for these signals can get there on time, giving you higher rewards. Now, the relayed hotspot as a challengee, the beaconer, a challenger that sends a request to the challengee expects and acknowledges or a receipt by the challengee within a certain period of time. If to the challengee is relayed, the initial request can take too long to arrive at the relayed hotspot and the request becomes stale and invalid. So again, another one of those things where it's just much better if everybody around you is just not relayed. It makes everything go much faster, seamless, and you get the rewards. Now, two questions that pop up here. My hotspot went from X to Y, right? So for example, if you went from 50 witnesses to 20 witnesses, uh, what happened? I didn't do anything wrong. That's what it says here. So this is normal, guys. This is what's gonna happen. Since you're on that five-day rollover, uh, you're gonna start to see some witnesses fluctuate. And then secondly, adding on top of that, remember what you're seeing now is much more correlated with actual mining rewards versus witnesses that aren't having any effect towards you, that aren't giving you any kind of gain, right? So really you don't even care about what you're losing. You just wanna make sure that you're actually talking to these hotspots and providing good coverage. So no, this new update does not damage your earnings whatsoever. It just gives you a better understanding as to what you can do to earn more and more. So you can see where on the map exactly you're earning these rewards from. If you guys want an example of how this can help you make more, for example, let's just say you have a directional antenna and you placed it right here. Now, secondly, <clears throat> you would want to know where to aim that antenna. So if you're aiming it here, right, and you're having a cluster of witnesses, back then you couldn't really tell which one of those were paying you out. So you would have to basically just troubleshoot by the number of earnings. Now say you wanted to move the antenna and try it a different direction, those witnesses, when you start to compare, they're much more correlated and give you a finer view. They give you an actual view of what witnesses are paying you versus just witnesses that are completely irrelevant to you. So what are your thoughts on this update? And if you appreciate this kind of content, hit the like and subscribe for us. We do appreciate you guys being here with us. See you guys next time in the next video. Thanks, guys.